My name is Jessica Goodman and I'm the props designer for The Drowsy Chaperone. The things that are in the musical world are a lot more uh, colorful and stylized and over the top. And we have this one ridiculous scene uh, called Show Off that's just a lot of <laughs> tiny, a lot of uh, props that get used for like one second and then tossed aside and never used again. And a lot of the challenge with that is um, not just saying, okay, you wanted a thing, look, here's a thing but it needs to be something that people can grab and use and put away really quickly. My name is Silva Osborne and I am the set designer. The biggest thing with this musical in particular, and I think it's a, it's a lot a lot of musicals have this, but for this one, it's the duality, like what's real and what's theater magic. And at least for the set, it's very hard to create because you're creating two different worlds with you know a very particular budget. And uh, so there's all of these constraints and limits. It's confusing because you have fake things and you have fake things that are trying to be real but it's it's obviously that they're fake and then you have the fake things that are trying to be real and be real so there's, there's so many different lines <laughs> and it gets confusing I, I get lost in it I've, I've, even just just building this set, i get lost in like where all of these different distinctions are supposed to be so i think that was the hardest thing for me for building this set my name is victoria gross and i'm the costume designer I feel like, yeah, I did not know what I was getting into at all. And if I, if I had known, if I had known, I might not have done it. So I'm really glad that I did. Because, the, like, they approached me and they were like, okay, there's ten characters, they all have one costume, that's it. I'm like, I could totally do that. I did that in high school. I had all these people helping me, though. And this is, like, literally, like, all of these people are my responsibility that they don't, they're not naked on stage. They don't go on in space or something wildly out of period. And it was a lot of responsibility. But, like, it was, so, it was a lot of fun. My name is Murphy Spence and I'm the lighting designer. I ended up re the entire plot, which means I changed the colors for like half the lights. And we got like more and more bright and colors that you like as a lighting designer, like you always want to use because they're really fun and like pretty. And, but like there are so rarely occasions like this color of pink is totally appropriate for the situation. We had like great stuff. We used one that was actually called Broadway pink, which was amazing. The biggest reason to come see the Jazz Step is probably how uh, relatable Man in Chair is because he's telling his story and he's very much, his cynicism is very much like the way you should, at least the way <laughs> I think you Chicago students sort of behave about the things that they love. Um, so I think. It's the combination of that with just how completely crazy everything else is and how it's just like everything is very much there. It's like, whoa, this is a thing that students made and it's, it's real and it's hilarious and it's amazing.